Meanwhile, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo is happy with the IGP's directive banning the Federal Special Anti-Robbery Squad and other tactical squads from carrying out routine patrols. Well, speaking with the State House correspondents in Abuja today, the Vice President strongly condemned the violations and abuses perpetrated by these notorious groups of policemen, which he called bad eggs of the force. He also called for the prosecution of officers found guilty of these crimes. Uh, today, this afternoon, I had a meeting uh, with the IGO police. We reviewed several of these issues. The president and I have had discussions on this. He's very, very concerned about it, wants to see himself, wants to see a reform of this process. And I'm sure that uh, you are probably aware that the police have issued a statement, the IG has issued a statement looking at all these various issues. In particular, you know, warning against uh, the use of these tactical forces, such as SARS, for purposes of doing anything other than uh, uh, anti-robbery as it's supposed to be. I mean, for example, and Han, I think in the statement, he specifically said that you cannot have a situation where SARS say they're investigating cybercrime and arresting people, young men and women who are carrying laptops and carrying on them their phones, you know. Cybercrime is an electronic uh, crime. There's no way that you can uh, investigate that by seizing people's phones in a taxi or in their cars. So I think it's very obvious that uh, this is a major concern. A few bad eggs within the police force are causing a lot of these. Uh, and because it's, of course, it's all over the place in different states, there's a need, of course, to take serious action. I think that the IG statement today is a good first step. He has you know, clearly uh, said that um, you cannot even, yeah, you must be dressed properly. You must wear police uniform. You can't say because you belong to a tactical uh, unit of the police, you can dress uh, in your casual clothing armed with a gun. Because people can't even tell the difference between uh, robbers and uh, police if you are not dressed in, in, in the proper uniform.